Okay, so we created an experiment. Now there's something very special about this experiment. And this was uh, three years ago, I attended the optimization summit. It was actually the very first one. And we did live optimization. So we're going to do that later uh, this week. And I submitted my page, and my page got picked. It was amazing, right? And so I, I was sitting there in a room full of people like you that have been through this two-day conference. And everybody's shouting out ways for me to optimize my page, and I'm frantically taking notes. And so you guys helped me create this ugly Frankenstein-looking version of, of the landing page that you see on the right-hand side here, the treatment. And, and it took much convincing, after much convincing and pleading, uh, and many adult beverages, I convinced my client to actually let us, in fact, test this. And when we set up our test, what we found is that the, uh, the treatment, the, the live optimized version of the page, generated a 74% increase in conversion, 189% increase in average gift, which combined in the flux capacitor for 274% increase in revenue. So let me blow it up a little bigger. It's hard to read, right? But this long form page, we did like some of, we, we did things that we, we should never do, right? Some of the, we broke every best practice rule in the book. And we expected to see some sort of influence on the conversion rate. What surprised us by this experiment is to see the dramatic jump in average gift. Why did average gift go up so, so, high, so high? And, uh, and what we concluded is that when we communicate a value proposition with such tremendous force, not only to get more people to say yes, they say heck yes, because they have a better understanding of why their gift or why their purchase or whatever makes an impact, right? So what are the changes we made? Well, the headline was designed to arrest attention and communicate value and get people to read that first paragraph. The first paragraph in included bulleted copy that was easy for people to scan and to understand. And those bullets provided reasons why you should give. Novel concept, right? Why you should give. And then we embedded quotes within the, the geography of the page to bolster credibility. So people would actually not, in fact, just you know, understand, but they would also believe us. They would believe the claims that we made. And then we, we, we introduced the call to action and the response device at the part in the conversion uh, sequence and as part of the, the, the conversation where um, the value has already been established and people were ready to respond. And so the biggest thing we took away from this thing is the one advantage that, that us nonprofits have over for profits. And that's the simple fact that we don't have a price, right? It's open ended. If you think about it, the donor is the person that determines how much they're going to give, right? Our customer is the one who actually determines our price in the nonprofit world. And so what we've we found is that when we communicate that value proposition with such tremendous force, and if you're going to be here on Friday, you're going to learn exactly how to do this step by step, how to craft a value proposition, and how to increase the force of your value proposition. But when we do that, we get more, not when you get more people to say yes, they say heck yes, and they give at a much, much higher level. Mm -hmm.